Yo, what's up y'all? I felt obligated to make this video because I said that I didn't have any problems with my 8-bit do M32.4 G controller, but a few days ago I did start getting connection problems. It would lose connection and then if I pressed a direction on the D-pad it would just stick there and my character would move. Eventually it would reconnect, but I was having problems. So, you know, I read about updating the firmware and it was kind of a hassle what I read because you needed to buy a new kind of screwdriver that I didn't have and I wondered was it actually worth it so I actually did all the things already and tested the controller again and I would say that it is worth it so if you're on the fence about you know updating it because it's kind of a hassle you have to buy a screwdriver and you have to open it up. I think it is worth it. If you, especially if if you went through the trouble of getting a Mega SG, a white Mega SG, and pairing it with a white controller, you want to have that color coordination. And to lose that and have to use a wired controller, and they don't make white wired controllers, so it seemed like a waste. So I decided to bite the bullet and try to update the firmware. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to support com, hit the firmware tab, and download the zip file for the M32.4G. Once you extract that zip file, you'll have a folder like this. And then inside you'll have two folders, one's for the gamepad and one's for the receiver. Let's look at the receiver first because it's more annoying. So when you read the readme file, you'll notice that you need a specific type of screwdriver called the Plum Blossom T6. So when I, it's also called the Torx Star Screw and you make sure that when you get a screwdriver set, it comes with a T5 as well because T6 might be too big. It depends on the manufacturer. So where would you buy such a screwdriver you might your first instinct might be to check amazon.com but unfortunately all these screwdrivers and bits ship from china or hong kong they come really late i'm recording this on april 8th and it ships three weeks later at the earliest and that's really unacceptable let's look at another one this is even later may 2nd so instead of Amazon, I recommend eBay. eBay has nice filters, so check US only if you live in the US. This is the one I got. These ship much more quickly. But the best solution would be Micro Center. Now if you look up the same keywords, you won't get anything good. Even if you look up T6, you just get a camera. So in Micro Center, look up screwdriver and you'll find these neat little sets. It comes with the bits you need. So if you look under specs and specialty bits, under dodecagonal star bits, you'll see T5 and T6. This is what you want. What's great about Micro Center is they have some brick and mortar locations so you can buy the things you need right away if you're in a hurry now once you have the screwdriver now you can actually get to opening the receiver up because you don't need to up open the controller up just the receiver so i've already undone the screws with this t5 you might need a t6 or a t5 it depends upon your manufacturer. Open this up, grab the bottom so that it doesn't go flying. There's a lot of resistance. So, what do you need to pay attention to? It's this thing. This is your micro USB port. And see how you can't really access it but there's 
more than enough clearance for you to fit a fingernail in here and then lift it up. See how it fits in here. Lift it up and just enough so that the USB cable, micro USB cable could fit in. Here we go. Hear that nice snapping sound. And then you'll see two, see two little indentations. They're going to be what secures the cable in place. Now you just want to plug it into your computer. You hear, hear, hear that nice Windows 10 sound if you're on Windows 10. Okay, so now we have everything connected. You have your receiver connected to the computer via the USB cable. You just drag this file over to your receiver. Now you can tell that I've already updated my receiver because it says V2.0. When I first, when I before I updated my receiver, it said V1 underscore 90 or something like that. So after you're done, just disconnect. Remember to push down on the USB thing so that you can close the thing again. Like so. Remember to screw it back on. Now for the controller, you don't have to screw anything, but there's kind of a little process you go through. So turn off the controller, then you press and hold L, R, and start to enter its pairing mode. And then you'll see two LEDs up here. One will be blue and one will be yellow. So this will be blue, this will be yellow. Then you plug in the USB cable. Then you go through the same process. Go to the, your gamepad folder, copy your that file over to your your controller folder, and then after that, you unplug the USB cable, and then if you notice, it's still blinking. So you have to press and hold Start for three seconds. until the lights come off. So it's not really about holding it for three seconds. To just wait until the lights come off. It's like maybe one second or so. And you're done. Well, thank you for joining me on another, on another video. I hope this helps someone out there. And it's not that hard. You just need to. And it's a hassle, but I think it's worth it. Have a great day.